Hi again, everyone. I'm Ollie Matthews. This is The Narcissistic Resistance, and this resistance video is sponsored by contribution from Angela, and you know Angela as Akon. And she has video to send, and I'm familiar with Angela's story. She sent me a pretty lengthy email to give me some backstory, most of which I already knew. But to, to catch you guys up, and for those of you who didn't see her channel, and this is the first time I'm seeing these uh, these videos. I only watched 29 seconds of the first one, just to get a gist of it. Um, so, those of you who don't know, Angela has an abusive, narcissistic mother. Been that way her whole life, selfish, greedy. Back in, I think, 09, she had her son arrest. She had Angela's mother had... Angela's son arrested because of his piece of shit drug dealing. Her, her, the grandmother's piece of shit drug dealing boyfriend who was basically stealing her SSI checks, clearing out her bank account, went over, threatened Angela's son inside his house. Angela's son apparently grabbed the, uh, a shotgun because he was inside his house and told him to get the fuck out. And then Angela's mother and him made a frantic call to the police, had Angela's son arrested, beaten up by the cops. Everything was eventually dropped. And apparently, I guess, fast forward to when these videos were recorded, I think it was about over a year ago, that uh, Angela, her son, and I guess one, I guess Angela's sister tried to confront her mother, who I think is in a nursing home now, faking dementia about her bullshit. And she sent me these three videos. Apparently, one of them she's being bullied on by, I guess, well, we're going to find out because I haven't seen the the one she's being bullied on. I think it's, it's the second one. So let's just get right into her story. And as I hear this, I'm, I will jump in and try to fill in the gaps. Hey, Mom. Hi, how are you? Uh, did we interrupt your finger, okay? Huh? Did we interrupt your bingo game? What you got here is the baby boomer stare. Now, even though Virginia wasn't a baby boomer, what you got here, and notice where your mother sits. She's at the head of the table. She got herself to the head of the table, didn't she? Didn't she? All this is relevant. All this is valid. By the way, when you're filming with your cell phone, Hold the camera sideways so you can get you can get the landscape view. Not up and down, sideways. Watch her mother react to Angela walking in. Now, this is a woman who says she has dementia. Look at the look of panic in this woman's face because you're now walking into somewhere she's holding court. And she's got two separate narr I guarantee you she's got two separate narratives going. And I want you to look at the women sitting at the table, the the frozen looks in all their faces. Yeah. Uh, sorry, Dr. Look at her. Turn around. I haven't seen you in a long time, Mom. Angie. Yeah. Angie. Angie. So she's trying to act like she doesn't recognize her. She did the turn back. What's the wheelchair about? She popped up out of that chair pretty damn quick. Pretty damn quick she got herself. That was a that's another Virginia move. You always watch when you get them how fast they move. See, Virginia was real like ready to die until you pissed her off. And she would pop up like a goddamn sprinter out of the starting blocks. Your mother's doing the same exact thing. Look at this one. Look. Look at the intense ga gazes from these people. What do you think that's about? Hmm? Your mother's panicked right now. Because just like in mine, it's funny... These two videos. Well, I told I told Angela I was going to move this one. I, I, I would get right to this. But I did the baby boomer video. And right here we are again. Here we are again. Table full of baby boomers sitting around. 
holding court. And your mother's at the head of the table, isn't she? I'm too oh, I, I love you. <laughs> yeah. Could you come and see me and God heard my prayers? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, this is my daughter, Angela. Yeah. And I talk all the time about you, how much I love you. Yeah. And I really do. I didn't recognize you. Are these fake, are they fake tears? Yeah. We say Rosary every week and I pray for you. I said, my mother see my daughter. I'm going to see her. Where are the That's tears? That's very kind of you. Where are the tears? Uh, oh wow! All right, so hi Barbara, how you doing? This is the first reaction, and uh, Patrick, I didn't know she didn't go see see your grandmother. Well, it looks like she doesn't have an interest because she's too busy. And we're all going to shut down for right now. This is this is Patrick. Here's what I'm going to say right off the bat, Angela. All of this is unnecessary. This woman has already had your son locked up, arrested. It doesn't even matter if she has dementia or not. If she has it, she deserves to suffer alone. You know, you take a big risk going to a going to a nursing home like that. And I understand what you're doing and I understand why you're doing it. Sometimes it's too late to play the move. And there's obviously hostility from Patrick. He has every right to feel hostile. Like at this point, you have more to lose than win here. Because at this point, you've already proven in life who and what your mother is. And I understand, believe me, I understand the need to get it on tape better than anyone. But at this point, you've already, you've already played past it. Hi, Grandma. Hi, Patrick? Yes. You're Patrick? Yeah. Oh, my God, Patrick. She can remember the names but not the faces. She's full of shit. This is an act. This is an act. This is total, this is a total act. <laughs> You're Patrick, like she doesn't recognize. That's not dementia where you, you, you remember the person but you don't recognize them. You don't remember shit. You're Patrick. That's weak ass, that is some weak ass dementia. You see that hug? Look how she pushes him back at the end. She's going through motions right now. Let's just rewind that a little bit. Watch how she pushes off. Look, look, look. See? Pushes him back. Enough. Enough. Again, to us, you're proving your point. You know, it, it'd be a little harder to go to a nursing home and do this. You know, at some point, you got to make them accept what they did. You know, and I understand you wanted to confront her with it. It would have been better off. Okay. You make more of a statement by sticking her in that fucking home and nobody come in to see her ever. Because that's what they all care about, all them old people. Who comes to visit who, and that's how they get currency while what's in there. That's how they get status. And I pray. Well, why did we, you know. Pray for some real tears. Why did you want to see us for? Because I miss you. I miss you so much. I don't see anybody. Yeah. What about Joey? comes to watch in a while, but we're close. Uh... Well, can we go to a private room? Yeah. Yeah, I think we'll move this over to a private room. It's okay. I don't want to interrupt your game. That's okay. Yeah, that's right. You guys seen us in a long time. You want to go back to your game? No, I'll take the chips off. I'll be right back. I didn't know anybody. She knows where her game's at. She knows where her chips are. But she has dementia? Barbara said go visit with us. Like I said, it doesn't even matter if she has dementia at this point or not, Angela. 
It doesn't. All right. So let's skip on to number two because I think this is where all the problems started with Angela. You can have the no glasses since, um, <clears throat> since you since before you came in here. What are you talking about? I had an operation. Well, I know you had an operation. You had several operations. Yeah, I had it the last time. The doctor said that every year I have to go for a checkup. I have lens implants. Yeah. And if I go outside, I wear sunglasses. Yes. I'm so glad this came. I'm so happy. This is the best present. God heard my prayers. Right. So I want to see them. The table and all the chairs. Where's Frank? He's home. He's home. Uh, He's busy uh, and uh, how's the baby? Everybody's doing fine. That's good. Matt, I didn't recognize it. I really didn't. I didn't recognize anybody. Ever. Well, it's been, it's, been so long. it's been a long time. How long has it been now? Over six years. And it's been eight years. Eight Almost years. eight years. It happened in 2009. It was a long time. Do you, I do have you, a body in my leg. Uh, yeah. And I left late and they couldn't ride. Yeah. <clears throat> but I can, I'm present in here at Manor Care Center. And I like it. I like you, the people. What are you here? I have dementia and um, a fractured hip. <laughs> so you do have dementia. She can, she can rattle off what's wrong with her. She, look at this. This is not dementia. This is somebody who knows she's caught. This is somebody who knows that they're caught. Okay, this is nervous. This is what it looks like when I when I would interrogate people, and you know you got them. So who said you had dementia? The nurse. The doctor did too. I got a new doctor. The nurse. Yeah. <clears throat> That's a hand. lie. How many needles were in my hand? They were putting needles in my hand, and I'm screaming. Yeah. And then he wasn't coming She's back. making this up on the fly. Watch her eyes. When the eyes go up and to your left, that is drawing off the creative senses of the brain. Okay? Your brain has two lobes. A memory, okay? And a creative. When it goes to your right, they're drawing from memory. When it goes to your their left, to your left, their eyes, they are creating a memory. They are creating, which means they are lying. Back anymore. So right. I got the touch of the face. Oh, she is a neurolinguistic disaster. Well, I'm sorry she is a neurolinguistic disaster. You know? It happens. Right. It happens. Right, yeah. When I played with the computer, they taught me how to play it. And so you know how to run a computer a bit? Mm -hmm. Yeah. They took, she is nervous but the doctor, as hell. But the doctor diagnosed you with dementia. Do you know what today's date is? Today is... She's going to lie. February. February 25th? Yep. Okay. Very good. Yeah. yeah. I'm so glad you came. So... so so what she did there was she thought of a lie and still came out with the... She thought about lying and then came out with the real date anyway. So, happens. Let me see my children. Yeah. And I told God to forgive me whatever I did. I told God to forgive you whoever, whatever you did, yeah. She told God? You're supposed to ask God. You're not supposed to tell God anything. But there you go. There you go. Downstairs, they're pretty bad, Ange. Her biggest, and I'll tell you why she went into a private room. She didn't want this in public. She didn't want other people to see this going down. Okay? She is, she is intent on keeping whatever bullshit she's got going, she's got going on there. Or like... They're out of it. They don't know nobody. A couple people went down behind my doors. <clears throat> you know, you can't go beyond the other. And that's his family. So they come and say, how are you doing, Patrick? I'm all right. 
I work all night, just work my ass off. Yeah, JR got big. I can't get over how big JR is. Yeah, he's. How, you remember JR? He's, he's, not, not, he's, he's, yeah, he's not always. Rock. But not Patrick. He's, a, like he's, 20, he's 29 years old now. <laughs> and, um, you know. Do you understand why we have a case? She understands. Here? She's nervous. No, what she did. She don't want her you going out and telling everybody what she did. You almost got me killed because well, I don't know what you what you said to those cops or whatnot. But when I opened the door, the cops said that I was literally two seconds from being shot in the head because he said that he had reports of me waving my shotgun at kids. On the porch or something. Oh, yeah, like that. that was with Tito. Yeah, with yeah, Tito. I remember now. Tito's the drug dealing boyfriend. To steal the house you were Understand, Lena, look at this woman. Life. This happened in 09, it's 2018. So, what is it, eight and a half years later? She goes from being with a drug dealing boyfriend to a nursing home. She don't look that old, Angela. I mean, I know she's your mom. She don't look that old. Yeah, well, I'm trying to be right. your friend. Yeah, but she wasn't. Right. He wasn't your friend. He was using you and right. taking advantage of you. Right. Because he knew he could. You bought him a new car. You bought him rims for his car. Instead of spending that money on your family, you decided to spend it on some, some Puerto Rican fucking neighbor. And he totally destroyed your, you know, to make you convinced to fucking put a restraining order on your own daughter, for God's sakes. Like, no, it's over. I, that's what you did, I man. Know. You, you put a restraining order to have my mom thrown out of your house. I know. She had nowhere to go. No. I'm she had sorry. nowhere to go. She was homeless. I've been sick. And... Look, Angela, if you're getting bullied over this video, okay? I'd wear it as a badge of fucking honor. Okay, because go look at the what my last video before this. This is the baby boomers knowing they're caught and in panic. And in panic mode. I'd wear it as a badge of honor. Angela, you only got 56 dislikes on this on 236 likes. That's not terrible. Okay? You take it. I'm telling you this because I've known you... Probably one of the longest people have been around on my channel. Okay, you are way too sensitive. Okay, to, to to trolls freaking out. You're way too sensitive. I thought this was gonna be something horrible. <laughs> I'm out of it. I mean, I know you didn't mean to do it, and you're sorry for it. Oh, now you're out of it. And I always will love you. I know they're not even down there anymore. I heard news from that. Well, Tito has a warrant for his arrest. That dude just straight yeah, up. Yeah, the police sick. have a warrant out for his arrest at the present time because he's dealt in drugs. Yeah, that dude was. A, he, he, he took advantage it's of you like, and he brainwashed you and he used you against your own family. And you took his side in it. Remember this? No. What's this? Well, why don't you look at it and tell me? There's not a real tear here on this woman. Is that the person? Are you the person? That type of person that is all those wonderful things that he said in that card? Is that the truth? No. Because you know what I think? Where'd you get this card? I, I never had this one. How would oh, she yeah, know if he did. has dementia? How would she see this is how you know it's bullshit? The dementia is bullshit. Why would you get upset if you have this on video, Angela? What anybody says at this point? You're never going to have 100% likes or dislikes, and there's always going to be trolls. And the bigger your channel gets, Angela, the more of these you're going to have. Some videos are going to be more controversial than others. I give you credit. Listen, I thought maybe you were overplaying your hand. I give you, so that's some, some balls you go into a, to the nursing home and film her. 
I would have done that, though. I, I would have, I guess. You know, to be fair. We did torture Virginia in the nursing home. Told her we all bought Mercedes Benz's with her fucking money. She lost it. She lost it. And then my father told her, whispered in her ear, we found your will. We know you cut us out. We destroyed it and went back to the original will. That was his card that he gave to you, remember? Oh, so now you don't remember, but I think this is you. That's the person who I think you are. Remember those pictures? I had used those pictures in a court of law to defend myself against the restraining order that you put on me. That were, what was full of lies, and you knew they were lies. Don't start here. Please don't start here. Told you. Told you that's what it was about. Don't do it here. I knew it from the very beginning. From the, from the very beginning. It was about her image at the head of that fucking table. Please don't do it here. That's why you went back. She went back to the room. All of it. All of it. All of it. She hasn't changed one bit, Angela. You should have walked out right there and then. You should have said, "You're gonna now. You're gonna die alone." And you all should have just walked the fuck out. I told you. Dementia. I told you right soon as she laid eyes on you. It was oh shit. It's like having your wife catch you with your girlfriend. Yeah, I got you. I love you. I love you so long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Listen, I love you. I've been so sick. The doctor. Oh, here it comes the gill. Now I'm sick. So right to so like now. This is where they know you got him. And now pity me because I'm sick. And I'm fuck off. You're going to die alone here. Sick, yes. And I feel for your illnesses. I really do. Oh, you fucking lying bitch. You lying bitch. Not one real tear has she shed. Um, not one. Not you know, one. I was thinking about Uncle Al. Yeah, what about him? What was the date that he died? December 17th, 1967. Right. Oh, okay. You so. Uh, so you remember those details from 1967 about his death? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was a horrible tragedy. It was a horrible tragedy. I know. It really was. <laughs> I wonder why. I wonder why the neighborhood Did went back. Say so you remember Feltonville? Yeah. And who lived in Fountainville? Florence. And Florence was who? Florence Mills. Do you remember her address? What was her address? 46. 4608. 4608. I was going to say 4610. Thank you. But you were close. You knew it was at least 46. And she lived where? Up the street? See, this is where their narcissism takes over because she wants to be demented, but at the other end, she wants to prove how good her fucking memory is. So, like, she has the thought of making it up, but she can't exactly bring herself to do it either. Only when, the only time she brings up her dementia is when you make a direct accusation on her. Then she's demented. But when you just ask them to remember something, like she can't even figure out what you're actually doing. That's when her pride takes over and she has to prove to you, I can remember everything. Even though it goes the complete opposite to whatever fucking narrative she's trying to, to bring. Angela, as soon as you had her, please not here, don't say it here. She's holding court. You saw the panic in her face the second. She laid eyes on y'all. Street or down the street? No, she did by the cemetery. Right, that was up the street. About six doors from the cemetery. I heard she died. I don't know. Yeah, she did. did she, she did die. Oh. 
Did you see Jackie Miller? How's she doing? Oh, I don't know. Try to change the subject. That's funny how she she departed from you. And we from English Town's coming to see me. You remember Ruth? Oh yeah, yeah. And they got a they're they're in a small uh, apartment. You know, for the seniors. What's that called? Tell me what it's called. In that book, New Jersey. No, for senior citizens. I don't know. All right, I had the third video lined up. Where is it? It hasn't popped. All right, let me go back because I saw it on the last video. Hey, Mom. Part three. Hey, Mom. Hey, Mom. Hey, Mom. Hey, Mom. Yeah, for senior citizens, like like a condominium. I imagine that's what it is. Do you want anything? Can I get you anything? Yeah, I can't drink soda. I'm so long. Well, we weren't really planning on staying because we got many things to do. Where are you going, huh? Well, I got things to do because, you know, in the outside world, we have to do our own laundry. We have to, uh, you know, uh... Erase the soda. Erase the soda. That was 75. So we're not going... We can't stay long. So this is a doctor. So how are you doing, Patrick? What kind of work are you doing? I work at Turkey Hill. Took a while off. On the third shift, I was in the store at night. Late at night. What's up, babe? No, I told the job that you gave me a nice card. Christmas. I'm going to get two cards, Johnny and Ruth. Oh, shit. She's having a beautiful Valentine's That was loud. Party. Yeah. I'm ready to have a card, she said. Of all the friends we, we had, everyone had been vanished except you. Yeah. Oh, she's she trying to tell you what a great person she is here. Lambert, New Jersey. Lambert, New Jersey. Lambert. Yeah. She was in English Town. What? English Town. No, she moved from there. She sold it. Oh, so you remember she that detail there, too, uh, huh? Brick, New Jersey. That's it. Brick, New Jersey. Now I remember. Yeah. Boy, your memory's pretty sharp. Yeah, I still do my cryptograms. Yep. Oh, so you could still do them. You do understand the bingo numbers too, right? You could yeah. play bingo, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. I have fun with people on you. They make me laugh. This they make you laugh, yeah. Are you there? Are you new here, right? Pardon me? Did you hear me? Are you fairly new here? Did I get to the what? No, are you fairly a new resident here? No, I, well, in this one I am, but I was in Yardley for uh, nine months. So when you saw her looking off to the side, there's other people in the room. As she's being exposed and she's trying to, keeps trying to change the subject. Then they transferred me up to here. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. yeah. This is my daughter and my grandson. Hi, and my other daughter. My two daughters. Yeah. Yeah, I like it here. It's clean all the time. Yeah. So they treat you well, huh? Mm hmm You know what? Yeah. I was thinking of Daddy. I said if he knew about this place, he could have got a job clean. Yeah. But he was a good cleaner. Yeah. I think they have to take a test, don't they, to clean up here? I, I believe they do put him through some kind of testing. They do a pretty thorough job. Right? Yeah. The girl that comes in my room does it. Yeah. I heard you talking about your grandson. Yeah, this is my. Car. This is my grandson. Oh, okay. Uh, and you bought a new car, Patrick? No, it's Frankie's no, car. It's Frankie's oh, car. it's Frankie's car. I ride a motorcycle. I, I bought my grandson. Okay. I think you've proven here that she's not demented. She just wants to cover her fucking bad actions. All she's concerned about is the truth getting out to these other people. That's what the reaction was when you walked in. 
that's when you started showing her the pictures. She started looking around, not here. That's what it's all about. She's not demented. She has no dementia. She's an evil, narcissistic woman who's made her bed in life. Let her die in it. You're always going to have trolls, Angela. There's always going to be somebody looking to get under your skin, especially these old people, especially when you're dealing with these baby boomers who are realizing every day more and more that the jig is up, that they're caught, that their lifetime of narcissism is coming back to bite them in the ass. On this, I wouldn't I wouldn't be bothered by the criticism. I would wear it as a badge of honor. Stop worrying about the opinions of people who don't matter. Now I understand some of them are trying to like get you in trouble at your job and it's not gonna happen, obviously, because your boss is, is, is in on is in with you on this or they're trying to do something with the with the law review. I wasn't sure exactly what you were saying with the the some Philly law thing. I'm 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 not sure, and I'm sorry if I if I'm getting that that part wrong. You gotta understand when you've won, Angela. Realize when you've beaten them. You beat this bitch. She's now stuck in a fucking nursing home, holding bingo court. Letter, letter. And now y'all can leave and never have to look back. She knows why. She knows why. I don't even know why. Look, you didn't need to do this at this point. If if it got to that point, I certain she certainly wouldn't be sitting there. I wouldn't care where she ended up at that point. You've done far too much, and that's what you don't realize. You've done far too much for the narcissist. And to the end, until she dies, all she's ever going to care about is the truth not being exposed. So, hope that helps. Thank you, Angela, for your contribution, all your support, and the videos. I really appreciate it. Thank you to everybody watching. Please leave any opinions or advice in the comment section below. And again... If you want your story read on the channel, you have a topic you'd like me to cover, a narcissist you'd like to expose, you'd like to set up Skype, a phone call, have a private video made, or a Facebook live chat, or you'd like to sponsor a video like this for someone who needs help and can't afford it, or just make a contribution to the channel in general to keep it growing, expanding, and surviving, because this channel survives 100% on contributions from all of you. Without you, all of this goes away. So if you like what you see here and you want to see more videos like this, you know what to do with the PayPal and email links in the description box. Also, please like and share this video wherever you can. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and be sure to click the subscription bell to be notified of all my video uploads. I'm Ollie Matthews. This has been the Narcissistic Resistance. Take care.